tank in the top lane. Yep. So I think he kind of just has to pick Cassante no matter what, which is why I think C9 was pretty comfortable just taking the Camille right away blind. I think for someone like Sven to find a team. And Spika. This is, uh, this is a good, good start for C9, though. Hey, they wanted to start the Thanatos train early, Six. but the all-out is going to bring Vulcan no. over the wall, but the Ignite, oh no it. way. Okay, JoJo's there for the reinforcements, and the Ignite gets the final tick. But first. It looks like he doesn't want to commit. They're just going to bully Licorice off the wave as he does have a good freeze going on. I mean, he had 75% health in Nidatabi. I don't know if just straight up ulting him in lane is going to be able to kill him unless you're actually bringing JoJo on that timer. So Licorice, good game sense, avoiding that gank. Actually makes a roam here, and oh, JoJo... JoJo flashing the fear from Jensen, crucial as that could have been lights out for him. Yeah, it looks like Blabber is going to be able to get the Void Grubs nonetheless. Licorice is going to say hi along the way, but he's got no backup. I mean, Blabber should be able to get this once the W comes off cooldown and the smite. If he needs it, secures all three grubs. Yeah. Play. Spika is level six, has cease and desist available. No flash on JoJo. He should be the next target. Cease and desist follows up, and JoJo has no way out. Dignitas with their first kill of the game. Got the flash. still looking for this. JoJo is moving over as well. They might try and four man or at least push him off the way. If you can do it from fog and hit Isles before he has a chance to react, maybe it's the good play. Battle dancing over, JoJo Cone follows up, and the cleanse immediately used, but Sven him. cannot flash in time as he already used it to try and gain distance, but he still goes down. Both of the summoner spells gone. Vulcan tried to use the Keeper's Verdict to hit Jensen, but he teleports in safely. The Spiraling Despair is gonna do a lot of damage onto the members Ooh. of Cloud9, and Dignitas will answer back. They interrupt Blabber's Arctic Assault, but they still fall to the power of Berserker oh. Zeri. Jensen, can he carry this through for Dignitas? Finds the Searing Bolt onto the left. Plus the passive. That, damn, that, like, Flowers can attest that that is just like, oh man, all right. Well, three abilities on Q, three abilities on W, three abilities on E, and then ultimate plus passive. Good job, we have to live as Cloud9 gonna be making a trade once again. This time, it's the second dragon going their way, whereas Dignitas get the second rotation of grubs. And already, the community is talking, and they're saying, we cannot be sleeping on Jensen anymore, guys. You just can't. I mean, he had a really good split on FlyQuest. He yeah. just wasn't good on Annie. Like, that's, <laughs> then, that's... Also, fresh start for him uh -oh. on Dignitas here, oh. as the Caster Curse commences. This is not just the caster curse. There was no scuttle crap. Or there was no rift herald up, and they created two plays around bot lane here. One got them the first kill, and then the triple kill for Jensen. And the second there actually ended up killing Jensen. But if they can set up the map into positions where they can actually get things happening without like needing a dragon to be there, yeah. it's a really good sign because they're so good in lane and they're such talented players. Seismic shove off of Vulcan's wall slam. Spika might be in trouble. The Ignite and the Keeper's Verdict interrupting his Vault Breaker. One more threaded volley would do the trick. But Berserker cannot get in range. The W tags him and he pops the ulti. A couple more on attacks. There it is. Spiraling the Spare dissuades him from participating in the fight and what? completely deletes him. Jensen and Isles trying to fight on back. The Vault is catch up. I think yep. the, the other thing that caught Berserker by surprise is after the triple kill, Jensen got super accelerated. Jojo Kun in that fight was on components, whereas Jensen still had a or had a full Archangel staff. It's still not a Seraph's quite yet, but just having that extra AP at this point in time definitely is just gonna eclipse oh, them in the power curve as Isles and is in a world of trouble. The chain of corruption goes wide. Nobody on Cloud9 gets punished as yeah. they just take the clean kill. Huge play. Look where Thanatos is. He's been pushing the bot lane the entire time. That was a 4v5 where they picked up a kill. Like, the fact that Dig sat 5v4, didn't get anything happen, actually had negative play happen is a disaster, but Vulcan gives one right back. <laughs> Engages from Cloud9, also his flash, and now Blabber, despite being a tank, his first item is yeah. really everyone was disappointed with their spring split performance as Isles is just fighting for vision and C9 is right back to trying to pressure side lanes. But Blabber definitely had one of his worst splits in a while, not making I don't know if he made any, he definitely didn't make first or second team all pro. Yeah, he was further down that ranking than I've seen him for years. Game one here, one and seven on Italy. Game two here on Sukwani, wanting to get the win. And here comes Spika. Cease and desist, right on the JoJo. He flashes away in time. Isles is in trouble, dancing away. But Spika doesn't have that mobility or the flexibility to get out alive once he commits. Thanatos. Thanatos is onto the back line. Pops the Hexa Golden Mana looking for one more. But he dives too deep and doesn't 
respect the damage from Jensen. Licorice from the side. Picks the up. will punch Spico away. And that buys enough time for Cloud9 to make this quick play on the tier two. Some juicy gold in that. Doesn't seem like it's going no, to happen. Not what they want to do. But Cloud9 will try to brute force for this next wave. They're early crashing it, catching it high. The Weaver's Wall is going to cut off Dignitas. They don't necessarily need to engage. Just bully them away from the wave so that they can get this tier two and at least trade something for the dragon. So they're getting more gold. Here's the fight. Thanatos on the licorice, but not committing the ultimate quite yet. Dignitas are able to brute force their way through. Isles now looking for the counter engage with the quickness, but forced to jump away. Thanatos commits on the licorice. He's already using the flash Ooh. and takes him out with the Went sack at full HP. Vulcan, nice keepers, verdict. Punch Spico away. They know that Spico was known. Brute force their way through the mid lane, not respecting the pick potential that Cloud9 had. Licorice still no flash. Gonna get engaged on by Cloud9, but it's very tanky. Can tank a lot of that damage, dropping to only two thirds of his HP. Thanatos pushing in the mid wave. Rest of Cloud9 trying to lay the siege down through both of these minion waves. Oh, Licorice has no flash, but oh, Thanatos jumped on. Spika committing with the season to assist. Isles and Sven all on top of him as well. Blabber cannot save, and the Glacial Prison is. Thanatos and now are even counter pushing the mid lane with a numbers advantage. First one away. Ooh, wait, That's what a landed? Lot of damage on that was Jojo. a nice root on the Jojo Pion, and he goes down. The chest oh is spiraling despair. It's all disaster for Cloud9. And Dignitas have the push. They commit the flash over the wall and fight Blabber as well. Speak of laying down the pain at Dignitas. The second pick here, where C9 is just trying to get back under their turret, but the first. Pop way quiz for you today. Uh-oh, Spika's found another target on the Thanatos. No flash available for him, and he gets deleted by Sven. C9 was 5k up with Baron. Now they're 1k up with four players and facing Soul. Glacial Prison run atop of Spika, trying to get the counter engage. The Weaver's Wall cuts Spika off from the support of Dignitas. Teleport flanks from Thanatos. He's actually just going to teleport to the, menu, the mid wave instead. Vulcan hey. taking a lot of damage from the Chain of Corruption to the poke. Yeah, and Dick has so much range. They can't full commit, but if they can poke them out ah! and get kills. Vulcan goes down, but it's a trade of supports. Cloud9 still having Thanatos, so it's a four on three for now. Spika just respawned and is running from the base, but I don't think he's going to get in here in time. Maybe if Dignitas can find a lucky snipe. Maybe Sven can channel his Unergumu Yushi, but he's already fired the arrow, and the secure is there for Blood. Yep. Vulcan is looming on the right side. Keeper's Verdict will punt one. They pop the Spell Shield from Sven, so he could be a target if he gets too close. Keeping his distance, fires an arrow as the rest of Licorice's health bar is starting to evaporate. Thanatos locks him down. The all-out pulls him away, but he still goes going to all three games. Yeah. And we are definitely in position for it if Cloud9 can close out this game. As Vulcan slams oh, out into the wall, pops the quickness, and doesn't do a damn thing. The rest of Cloud9 pop him like a balloon. 6,000 health. They, they just can't contest it. Yep. Dignitas, the best that they can do is go for the mid wave, and even Joe just trying to brute force this turret down. Keeper's verdict, they go for Sven, but he pops the cleanse and he's able to get away, dodging the seismic shove with just a simple sidestep, but the tier three is fell on the, the end top. of the game. Berserker poking over the wall with a W. Dignitas trying to find Foster in this river. Licorice is the first target. Oh, it's it's Isles, it's Isles! Licorice still safe. A target on him. Pick him for Baron, pick him for Drake. Both teams now on Soul Point, but the gold lead is for Dig. They get the Scryers, but you know it's around, but there's just too much to keep him out of the pit. Nice Weaver's Wall will keep Ooh. Spika at bay, and yeah, Dignitas have to choose. Do you want to contest Soul, or do you want to save your base? Because Thanatos is making short work of this inhibitor, and he's got he Baron empowered end. minions. He can look to end. He's actually teleporting to make sure that he can get out alive. And the rest of Cloud9, oh, Thanatos going into the mid lane, gets locked down by Spika. Can they have enough damage to burst oh, him out? Killed. Thanatos is barely gonna live! Thank you, Ocean Soul! Cloud9 sends your gratitude as Dignitas do not get the pick on Thanatos. Even the Guardian Angel would have kept him alive with the backup arriving from C9. It is seeming more and more inevitable that as you wished, Rafa, we're gonna go a full six games in the first day of the best of three LCS summer split. Bonus League of Legends coming at you if Cloud9 can close this one out. Here's the Weaver's Wall. Ben still has Flash and Cleanse, and he's got the Spell Shield from Edge of Night, so he's safe for now. Licorice tries to take up as much damage as he can, but he gets flanked by the Seismic Shove. He is taken out, and Berserker is going to flash forward. Tries to get 
some damage down. Does not pop the ultimate quite yet. Rest of Cloud9 making the siege through all three lanes. As Isles is gonna pop the quickness, JoJo flashing forward and getting the stasis down protected. Sven is taken out of the game. Cloud9 will not take this series away. Dignitas, we're gonna have to fight back because Cloud9 are bringing it to game three.